Hey, 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 everyone. My name is Nolan, and welcome back to another Pixel Gun 3D video. And before I just jump into this video, I'd just like to say this video is pre-recorded. Um, yeah, I'm going out of town, so I'm just pre-recording content, so you guys have stuff to watch over the weekend. Um, by now, I will have taken my AP exam, but I still haven't done that yet, so I'm pretty nervous for that. But yeah, guys, today I'm just going to be giving you guys uh five weapons that were removed in pixel gun 3d um i feel like that these weapons have been out of the game long enough now where um people just don't know that these weapons exist or maybe um you guys have just completely forgot about these awesome weapons and if you guys stick around for the entire video i'm going to give you a bonus secret weapon that very very few people know exist and it does actually exist in pixel gun 3d um but if you guys enjoy this content or just like what you see, leave a like and consider subscribing. It's free. You can always unsubscribe later if you don't like what you see, but I do make regular Pixel Gun content, so might as well subscribe now. One quick disclaimer is that I know these weapons are very similar um, to the weapons we have nowadays. However, back when these weapons were in the game, they were completely different. They had different looks, they had different names, and they functioned completely different. And had these weapons been in the game now, they would be a lot more popular and the game would be so much different. So I'm kind of just classifying them as completely different weapons. Also, guys, just one more thing before I jump into the video. Obviously, the majority of these clips aren't going to be mine just because these weapons were in the game so long ago and I was not recording, but I'll be sure to like give credit to the YouTubers. Um, I'm pretty sure most of these are just going to be exotic gaming, you know, because he's like my favorite Pixel Gun YouTuber. And I don't personally think he would like rage at me for putting his clips in my video, especially if I'm giving him credit. But if you guys don't know who Exotic Gaming is, you guys have to check out his channel. So many people say that I'm like Exotic 2.0 and it's just like the best content compliment ever but enough rambling on let's just jump into the video so guys the first weapon on the list is the cactus sword now this weapon is technically a reskin now it is now known as the christmas sword however these weapons are like completely different like the christmas sword i'm pretty sure is not a cactus so i mean they're they are completely different weapons in fact it was actually called the cactus sword um so yeah that's pretty cool this weapon used to be decent i mean it was all right of course the game has just changed so much uh compared to what it is now so it's like impossible to compare these weapons to how good it was but i'd say this weapon might be like the modern i, I don't know dark force saber it's it was it was good but it wasn't like the weapon that everybody used i mean it, and it was iconic because it's a freaking cactus sword so guys this weapon was released in the 4.40 update that's right that long ago in fact it was so long ago that it is literally gallery number 28 <laughs> the 28th weapon added to the game so I, I don't know that just blows my mind um but yeah that's really all there is to this weapon it's iconic it's uh super super old and i just think it's a cool weapon that should be remembered Speaking of weapons that should be remembered, let's talk about the Deadly Candy. Now, this weapon, of course, is known now as the Steam Power, but back in the day, this weapon was actually called the Deadly Candy, and this weapon was so much different to what it is now. Lower ammo, lower damage, um, and it wasn't actually the Deadly Candy that long, but I completely forgot that the Steam Power was actually the Deadly Candy. So, guys, there isn't really, again, mu much that's special about this weapon other than <laughs> it's kind of mint-looking, and um, that they should bring this weapon back be because of that and that it was added in the 8.0 update so not nearly as long ago as the cactus sword but still pretty long ago and i think that this weapon's just generally gone forgotten about and i don't know what i just said there it was not grammatically correct whatsoever but i just think that again this is another weapon that should definitely be remembered so guys the next weapon on the list is a weapon that uh, used to be completely in the game but is now just available in the campaign game mode and that's called the alien gun yeah guys believe it or not this weapon you actually actually used to be able to use like just playing throughout the game it was like the pixel gun but better it did more damage stuff like that you, you can also use this in deadly games i'm pretty sure but yeah this weapon just used to be a regular weapon that you could use whenever you wanted to in fact what was cool is that you could win it in the campaign mode and then go and use it in battle instead of buying it with coins and stuff like that so guys, the release date of this weapon is actually unknown, however it is gallery number 26, so it's safe to assume that this weapon was actually released before the Cactus Sword or around the same exact time. Um, obviously you can still kind of use this weapon now, but you can't really use it in the actual game itself. 
So, I mean, it's kind of removed, but you can also, it's still there. But I just think that this weapon would honestly be kind of cool if you could use nowadays and, like, mythicalize it. That'd be pretty cool. So, guys, the next weapon that you can get, um, also from the campaign, is called, it, it's like the Zero X Bad Code, but it's just, it's just referred to as the Bad Code. Um, I believe you can still get this from the campaign. I'm not 100% sure, but you get this from beating like the third world in the campaign, I'm pretty sure. Um, you used to be able to use this weapon throughout the entire game, but now I'm pretty sure that it is only available in the campaign, if that. Um, yeah, this weapon was really, really good for rocket jumping. It had massive rocket jumping skills. It was fast, um, it had a high capacity, and it was low damage, but that was okay. Um, it was very, very popular in, like, um, what was it, flag capture. It, it was just a really fun weapon to use. And it was also kind of like a flex, like, yeah, I completed the whole campaign. What about you? So, I mean, uh, bad code. It's a shame that you can't use this weapon anymore. It's really cool. It's super iconic. And honestly, um, they just need to... Um, yeah, they just need to bring it back. But what's cool about this is that when it was released um, on Android, it had a 75 capacity. What? <laughs> that, that was just crazy. That was probably a mistake. Um, but yeah, uh, it's just a really cool weapon that they should honestly put back in. So guys, the last weapon on the list is my all-time personal favorite weapon. You guys want to know what my favorite weapon is? I'm going to tell you, it's a removed weapon you can't get anymore. That weapon is the Chain Thunderbolt. Now this is like what is now known as the High Voltage. However, back in the day, it was the second and best upgrade for the Tesla Gun. It went Tesla Gun, Chain Thunderbolt, and then later on, they added the High Voltage. So yeah, this weapon was initially released in the 5.3 update. And when this weapon was around, you know, it was actually kind of unpopular i just think that like this weapon was so much different from like what was common in the game like back then pixel gun it was kind of like a more realistic gun game like obviously it was pixelated but they had like realistic themed guns and this gun was just completely out of the ordinary along with the prototype and the laser not the laser minigun the laser um uh, what, what you, the crystal laser cannon that's it um those weapons were super unique and it was like one of the only unique weapons in the game which personally i just found so cool but what people didn't know is that the chain thunderbolt was so good it, it shoots it sh shot as fast as it does now um but it did it did like 20 times the damage it took like three shots to kill somebody and what was cool is that this weapon instead of having like <clears throat> chain damage it, it was able to shoot several targets at once. So you could just um, aim in at a group of people and do damage to all of them at once. And it was so cool. So I think it would be cool like if Pixel Gun could buff the high voltage, you know, so I can have an excuse to use my all-time favorite weapon. And um, also, like, come on. Chain Thunderbolt is so much cooler than High Voltage, so, like, maybe actually rename it. And, I don't know, if this weapon was in the game now, <laughs> Pixel Gun would be completely different. I would only ever use this weapon because it was so fun to use. But now, guys, it's time for the secret weapon. Just as promised, if you guys have made it this far, then that clearly says something you must enjoy. So maybe, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. As I said, it's free. You can always unsubscribe later, but, guys... That's enough said. It's it's time that you know what the secret weapon is. And maybe maybe this weapon isn't secret and I'm just dumb and didn't know about this. But this weapon is called the Desert Fighter. Now, if you don't know what this weapon is, that's, that's totally okay. You shouldn't know what this weapon is because this weapon is only obtainable through hacks. And you'd be wondering, well, what's the point of it then? I mean, this weapon has a like 98 fire rate, a 20 capacity, and a 50 mobility. So, I mean, it's like, it's kind of like, a thick like an actual weapon um but the thing is is that this weapon was added to the game in order to help uh the pixel gun developers locate hackers because this weapon is only obtainable through hacking that means if you hacked and you have this weapon and then if you have this weapon it's like well you're a hacker so you're banned so that's really the sole purpose of this weapon you can't get this weapon it is completely unobtainable unless you hack and if you hack then well you're just you're just not gonna get it and um i think that this weapon is honestly like super super cool um it actually used to be in the gallery so it was like it was kind of like a flex to have this weapon um but honestly this weapon's super cool and now it's kind of like um it's just kind of like like the flex to have so like maybe if they added this weapon it would gain a lot of popularity and honestly 
um, I would buy this weapon. It's so cool. Um, but yeah, so guys, that's going to be it for the video. I know this video was a bit different from what I usually do. I've kind of been straying away from like my normal weapon review videos, but I'll be getting back to those once I get back on a reg regular schedule. Nevertheless, I hope you guys still did enjoy. I actually kind of had fun making this video. So I hope you guys had just as much fun as I did. If you did once more again, I know with the same shameless self promotion, um, leave a like, consider subscribing, um, turn on notifications. And again, I just appreciate everyone who watched all the way through my video. It does mean a lot. And um, with all that being said, I will just see you guys on the next video. Peace.